ever run into a problem where your external monitors are flickering throughout the day? Well, the first thing you want to check is your cables. Make sure they are plugged in all the way on both ends and that they are compatible. You also want to make sure they are good quality cables. Try not to buy just the cheapest one off Amazon because the Material covering the actual cables matters, as if it's super cheap, it could introduce interference with, for example, the carpet or the chair, or etc. Some electrostatic physics stuff. But if you've tried all that and it's still not working, next thing you want to do is check for drivers, for example, BIOS drivers, graphics drivers, display adapter drivers. In my work, we use Dell Latitudes on WD19 docs. So you can just go to search Dell drivers and updates and you can enter your service tag and it will give you all the recommended drivers. We also use Dell command update, which we install on our staff's computer and we can just run all that to get the computer drivers and dock drivers because it could also be a problem with the dock as well. And then what you can also do is check for monitor specific drivers. By default, if you go to device manager and monitors, you just have generic PNP monitor. What you can do is press update driver search automatically for drivers. It usually finds nothing, but what you can do is go to the, for example, Samsung or Dell monitor, whichever one you use, just search for the model online and download the drivers. And then you can update driver. And sometimes you have to manually find it in your downloads, but searching automatically may find it as well update those drivers, that sometimes helps. Next thing you want to do is check your display settings. You want to make sure everything looks good. You want to go to advanced display settings at the bottom. And if you have two monitors, you want to make sure the refresh rate is the same on both monitors. And then last thing you can try is a registry fix that has worked sometimes at my work, surprisingly. So what you want to do is go to this path in registry editor. So be careful of what you modify, but just go to this path, press enter. I'll put this path in the description, press enter. It will bring you to here. And what you want to do is right click in this empty space to the right, go new D word 32 bit value. And then you want to type in DPM ST DSC disable. Press enter. Again, I'll put that in the description. And you want to double click on it and enter two as the value. Press OK. And then restart your computer. I have no idea what that does, but it has fixed a lot of our problems. So you may want to try that.